On today's live show, we're going to discuss whether the long exposure noise reduction feature in your camera makes any difference if you're shooting raw. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, the first live three times a week show here on YouTube, youtube.com slash Photo Joseph, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9.30 a.m. Pacific, talking about all things photography and video and sometimes even live streaming related. Hey, good morning. We are talking today about long exposure noise reduction. I can hear you already. <clears throat> no, this is an important feature. It's built into pretty much every DSLR, DSLM camera. And the idea is that when you take a picture over a certain duration, and honestly, I'm not quite sure what that cutoff is, I've got to be honest. Um, but let's just, I, I did test it one second. It's, it's less than that before it turns on. But what you'll see when you have it turned on is you take a picture, and let's just say that you did a one second exposure. For one second after you took the picture, you'll see a dialogue that comes up that says long exposure noise reduction. And if you take a 30 second exposure, you'll get a 30 second processing of noise reduction. So should you turn that on or off? Well, if you're shooting JPEG, it's kind of a general convention is, yeah, you turn that on because it reduces the noise in the JPEG. But there's the question of if you're shooting raw, does it matter? Because if you're shooting raw and you have it on, you still see it happening. You still see the whole command going through. But does it actually make a difference? And so that is the question that we are setting out to answer to day. So first, let's take a look at the setting. I, this is the Lumix G9. Let's take a quick look at the menu system in here. Um, on the G9 and on, well, on all, all the G series cameras, all of the uh, Lumix cameras, you'll find in your menu, if you go to the camera icon on the G9, it's on page three of five, but obviously it might be somewhere else on your camera. What you're looking for is something that says long shirt R. I, I know it's like a really great, can I, I can reach this there, haha, <laughs> in yellow. Um, this, they got all this room, but they didn't quite, anyway. Long shutter noise reduction, NR is noise reduction. And just to show what happens, I've got this set for a one second exposure here. So let's just do this. It's obviously not gonna be a proper picture, but you can see down on the bottom left, it says one second. So I'm gonna take the picture and, oh, it's on a self timer. It's gonna do that. And then let's see, do you see it? Yep, you see it. Long shutter noise reduction going on. So that long shutter noise reduction is what you see. And that looks like it was a little bit less than a second, but the idea is it should take as long as the picture takes. Okay, so if we're shooting JPEG, it makes a difference. We know this. If you're shooting RAW, does it make a difference? Well, let's take a look over here in the Lightroom at the photos that I prepped up earlier and see what we've got. Hey, by the way, if you're watching today's show and you learned something, you think, my God, I didn't know that that was worth a nickel or two to me, I would like to propose that you support our value for value system. Head over to photojoseph.com support. And there's all kinds of ways to help support the show, help support what we do here and, uh, and ensure that you uh, can keep on learning on shows like this and uh, as the show goes on and on. Also, incidentally, what I don't have on there, I realize I have to add to this card, is my Linda courses over at lynda.com. I have a lot of courses on there, including Photography 101. This particular topic is not covered in there, but if you go to photojoseph.com slash photo 101, that will redirect you to the Photography 101 course on lynda.com. And I got a bunch of other stuff there too. I got low light photography courses and macro and a bunch of other stuff. So if you're not a Linda subscriber, head over there, check that out. You can get a free trial. Um, if you go to photojoseph.com slash Linda, you'll get a free trial for that as well. So super cool. All right, so let's take a look at the Lightroom. Let me get the right app up and running here. Where is the Lightroom? There it is. And we're going to start with the JPEG. So the shot that I did, very, very simple. It is this set behind me, as you can see right here. This is what I actually shot. Here is the setup. So I have four pictures. You see on here, I even put a little card in there. There's JPEG off. JPEG with noise reduction on, RAW with noise reduction off, and RAW with noise reduction on. Now, the only way to truly see these is to look at it one to one. You gotta zoom into 100%. Super important whenever you're doing anything that has anything to do with noise or sharpening or adding grain, anything of those little fine details, you gotta go one to one. Otherwise, what you're seeing is not the true representation. Because remember, if you're looking at it one to one, you are seeing every single pixel on your screen. If you're looking at it zoomed out, then you are seeing less. If you look at it at 50%, you are actually seeing one out of every four pixels of what your camera shot. So you might go, that's not noisy. And then you zoom in and you go, oh, there's the noise. Or conversely, if you zoom in, you are seeing more than what was actually shot. The screen is having to interpolate and add pixels that aren't actually there. So always, always, always look at it one-to-one -one whenever you're doing any kind of noise, sharpening, or grain addition or reduction to your image. Good, okay. Back to it. So let's go ahead and zoom into one-to-one -one on this. 
And this again is the JPEG with noise reduction off. Now this photo, let's actually take a quick look at the settings on this picture. Actually, I can do this here, can't I? If I go Shift I, I think that'll bring it up. There we go. This is a one second exposure at F6.3. ISO 12,800, I really cranked the ISO on this to make sure we had a good long ISO, good long exposure, and in case you're wondering how I did that in here, I put the neutral density filter on to make it darker, and it was like quite cranked down, because I wanted to have that high ISO and long exposure, not things you normally get in combination. Okay, so there is the JPEG. Now this is again, noise reduction off. You can see that JPEG off. Now this is gonna blow you away. Look at what happens when we turn it on. It actually is not better. It has actually added some strange color blotching to this. And I did a few tests and I saw this in a few places and I'm, I'm a little, uh, little surprised at what's going on here. I would say the noise itself might be marginally less, but it is definitely not a superior image. So with that in regard, I'm not quite sure what's happening here, but I would say if you are doing a long exposure photography and for whatever reason you're shooting JPEG, which I think you're not going to, but just if whatever reason you are, uh, do some tests of your own and make sure that you're getting the results that you expect out of that. Okay, so JPEG, it makes a difference. It may not be a better difference, but it makes a difference. But now to answer the question of what the show is all about, let's switch over to RAW. So we look at the RAW pictures. Here's the first one. So you can see a significant difference, right, in the RAW versus the JPEG. So let's just kind of pan these in the same spot in here, get, uh, get that in the same spot. There we go. So you can see there's a huge amount of noise here showing up in the RAW file. Again, 12,800 ISO, second long. In the JPEG, we are seeing none of that virtually. We're seeing some um, JPEG artifacting, maybe some comp uh, yeah, compression, noise reduction artifacting, but we're not seeing the noise. Now, and again, this is raw with it off. Now let's switch over to raw with it on, and it's identical. And that is what we wanted to see. It does not make any difference whatsoever if you are shooting raw. So then you ask the question, well, why is the option even there? Why does it even do it because, you know, the camera could say, hey, you're shooting raw, don't do the noise reduction because it does take time, right? It takes a full duration of what the exposure was, a second, five seconds, whatever it was to do that. The reason that it's doing it is because there is an embedded JPEG. Remember, every raw file has a JPEG embedded inside of it. This is why if you set your camera to black and white mode and you're shooting raw only, when you look at the back of the, the LCD, you actually see the black and white photo. Then you load it up into Lightroom or Aperture or Photos or whatever you're doing. And you might see that black and white image for a split second. And then suddenly, boom, it's gone. You see a color image and you're going, wait, what, what, what was that? Or most commonly what people see is they'll see an exposure shift, a gamma shift. They load in their pictures, their raw pictures. It comes up and it looks great. This is exactly what I saw. What happened? Suddenly the picture is is less, it's flatter, the colors aren't there. Like what just happened to my picture? Well, that's because what you first saw was that JPEG that's embedded in the raw file. And then your app immediately got rid of that JPEG and processed the raw file because you shot raw, that was the whole point, and shows you its version of the raw file. Now some apps will actually give the ability to start with that JPEG file and leave it there until you make some adjustments. I kind of think that's a setting inside of Lightroom. I'd have to check now. Um, but it gives you that ability. Some apps will give you that capability. But for the most part, that embedded JPEG is just there so that you can see the image on the back of your camera. That's what you're looking at is the embedded JPEG when you look on here. Um, and that's about it. So there you go. Simple question, simple answer for today's show. If you're shooting raw, should you enable noise reduction? The answer is no. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. You don't need it. Leave it off and you will get the exact same results and you'll be back to shooting quicker. Super. That's it. That's it. That's today's show. So if there's any questions, we are going to do a Q&A part of the show right now. So it's going to be, I keep forgetting, I got to figure this out. It's one of these directions uh, with this little thing that's hovering there right now. And we're going to do a little uh, Q&A.